Welcome to this tutorial on troubleshooting access issues from the Georgia Tech Library. In this video, we'll cover four tips for accessing library resources like ebooks and journal articles, especially when you're off campus. At some point in your research process, you may come across an article or book on a publisher's website that looks like it's not available at Georgia Tech. For example, you might hit a paywall with an option to purchase access for a fee, or you might see an option to log into the resource in order to access the content. But if what you see isn't the Georgia Tech single sign-on screen, it may be unclear what to do to sign in. Your first instinct may be to ask the library to find this resource for you through an interlibrary loan request. The library will gladly fill this request, even if you're asking for something we already own. However, this is the least efficient way for you to access items that Georgia Tech owns or subscribes to. Let's see how you might save some time and effort in getting what you need. Tip number one, find your article or book chapter in the library catalog. The library catalog offers an article search that allows you to find journal articles and book chapters from library subscription journals and ebooks. You can get to it through the library homepage. You can use the search box or navigate to Find Borrow Request and choose Articles. Search the title of your article or book chapter and click on the matching title to access the article's full text. The full text link in the catalog is coded with the correct authentication method for accessing the article or chapter. Not every book chapter is indexed in this search, so if you don't find your chapter by title, try looking up the book in the GT Library Catalog. For more information about accessing ebooks, watch the tutorial on how to use ebooks on the library's YouTube or Mediaspace channel. Tip number two, find your journal using Browsing. Browsing is a journal browsing application that indexes all the journals the library subscribes to and lets you easily browse journal issues on or off campus. Go to Find Borrow Request and choose Databases, and then find Browsing on the A to Z list. You can search for journals by title or subject. Article links are coded with the correct authentication method for access. For more information on Browsing, look for tutorials from Third Iron on YouTube. Tip number three, use the Georgia Tech VPN. If you have favorite journals and like to go directly to their websites, it can be helpful for those sites to recognize that you're coming from Georgia Tech. If you're off campus, try using the Georgia Tech VPN to facilitate this. Even with the VPN, you may still need to log in to access articles on journal websites. This is because the library uses an authentication service called Open Athens to mediate access between the journal or database website and Georgia Tech's single sign-on. Look for an institutional login option. This may also be called Open Athens, Shibboleth, or Federation, and enter Georgia Tech or Georgia Institute of Technology in the institution search box. For more information, see the tutorial How to Use Open Athens on the library's YouTube or Mediaspace channel. Tip number four, add Find It at GT to Google Scholar. If you prefer to search for literature on Google Scholar, it can be helpful to configure Google Scholar to provide library links. Georgia Tech's library link is called Find It at GT, and you can configure your Google Scholar settings to show this library access link in search results. This link will take you to the library catalog. For details and instructions, please see our video tutorial called Adding Find It at GT to Google Scholar on the library's YouTube or Mediaspace channel. We hope this tutorial will help you troubleshoot some common access issues with the library's electronic resources. If you have questions or need further assistance, please visit the library website at library.gotech.edu to chat with an expert, or come in and stop by our info desk. Thanks for watching.